Hello everyone. So this is a Physio Control Life Pack 9P to monitor the fibrillator and pacemaker. Today we're going to be doing an inspection and a function test. So as you can see the unit is in good shape. The outer casing there's no cracks. There is a few scratches especially in the corner. The pads are in good shape as well. As you can see the cables, there are no cracks on tears anywhere. The buttons, everything works. All the buttons look in good shape. The only problem with this unit is the printer module. As you can see, it does not have a roller. I don't know if just the roller would solve it. It might need a brand new uh, assembly, a printer assembly. So now we're going to do a function test. Okay, so now we have our safety analyzer hooked up to this unit. This unit does come with its own power cord, which is in really good shape as well. So for the resistance of the power cord, the OEM recommends less than 0.5 we're getting 0 0.09 ohms and for the leakage current we're getting 50 microamps, 48-50 microamps that's pretty good so now we're checking the monitor we're feeding a 60 beats per minute from our tester simulator. We're actually using the pads as a pickup since this unit doesn't come with a EKG cable. So the monitor is reading 59 60 beats per minute, which is what we're feeding it. Now we're going to switch it to 120 beats per minute. We see the monitor displaying 119 as a heart rate, which is pretty close. Okay, so now we're going to do the output test. We're going to do it at different energy levels. First, we're going to do 360 joules, which is the highest. And we're going to use our paddles. So we're going to hit charge. So the output that we got is 357 joules. Now we'll try the 200. So 
So we got 196.8. Now we'll do 100. The output is 98.2 and we'll do 20 so the output is 19.5 We're also going to do a paddle check. We're going to charge. And if I press just one button, either the apex or the sternum, it should not go off. So I'm going to do the apex. Nothing. Now I'll do the sternum by itself. Nothing. So now when I do both, it should go off. Okay. As far as the battery goes, it is going to need a new battery. It does have one, but it's a pretty old one. And like I mentioned before, the printer doesn't have a roller. So it might need a new assembly altogether, or maybe just a roller.